Hello and welcome, this is Al from Open Soul Channel. Welcome again to a new episode on how to. Don't forget, you can follow me on my website. And now, you can actually follow me as well on Facebook. You can find the link on the website and of course on the YouTube channel. And of course, you can follow me on uh, Google Plus and Twitter. But anyway, today I'm going to show you how to install Webmin on a Raspberry Pi. The first thing you want to do is to go to webmin.com. And if you click on download and choose the Debian installation. Here, as you can see on my notepad, I got the instruction on how to get started. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to log into my Pi using Putty. And now I'm going to start inserting the login the password. If you haven't done so, run the update first. Here you can find on my channel how to get started anyway on the Raspberry Pi. Now the first thing you want to do is to edit the file forward slash etc apt sources dot list. As I'm going to show you here using the command sudo nano then forward slash etc. Here we go. And what you want to do is to insert those two lines that I got in Notepad. And as I'm going to show you now, I'm making a few spaces here. And then what I'm going to do now, I'm going to copy and paste. Of course, you can find those information on the web main website as I showed you earlier on webmate.com uh, forward slash uh, for the downloads and then you choose the Debian installation make sure you use the APT repository once you have inserted those lines uh, press Control and X and save it here we go now as you can see I open it again just make sure that you know has been saved properly now the next step is to go to the root directory. It's already in the root, but just in case, I'm going to press. I'm going to type sorry cd uh, space forward slash and press enter. Now that's now we're going to do is the um, we're going to get the file of the of the key file from the repository. There we go. Job done. And now I'm going to add the key with command sudo apt key and jc cameron key a asc there we go that's been done properly now i'm going to run the update because of the lines i add the repository Without those ones, it would not update properly to install Webmin. Now it's going to take a few minutes. Here we go. The installation as sorry, the updates finished. Now we go to the next step, and that is to install Webmin with the command sudo apt get install Webmin. Now again, it's going to take a few minutes.
Here we go, it's nearly finished, job done. Now what you will do is copy and paste. This line is gonna be the, you can actually put the, you know, Raspberry Pi colon and the port is 10,000, or you can actually put the IP if you wanted to. There we go, you can find the IP by just typing ifconfig. I'm going to open a new tab in my browser. There we go, that's the IP. That is going to be colon 10,000. Now it's a little mistake there because it wants the uh, HTTPS. Actually, give me the right uh, address for the Raspberry Pi. There we go, it goes automatically there. I'm going to say I, I understand the risks and I add the exception. Right now we are in webmail. Now we're going to use the same login password that I used to log into my Raspberry Pi. So the username is going to be Pi and the password whatever you've chosen. In this case I got the original one comes with Pi to the, you know, the standard installation Raspberry. Of course make sure you actually change your password. There we go we are uh, in uh, side web this is the main dashboard or the main page you want to call it let's look a little bit around this is the web main tab system tab here we go we go servers we go others and so on and so forth networking hardware and we go of course cluster just in case you want to put multiple clusters of pies and then we got the end uh, unused modules. You can actually have your own VPN if you wanted to. You can have a Linux RAID with multiple disks if you want. RAID. You can have your DHCP server, Apache web server. I tell you what, um, let me put here the IP address or the Pi. A second so I can actually show you something as you can see is unable to connect but if I go back to um, to webmin and I press on Apache web server it's very simple if I click underneath where it says Apache web server package uh, click here to you know to start the installation it will automatically install Apache very simply fast no fast and as you can see here, at the end of the installation, let's wait just a few seconds. Well, it's taking a little bit longer than I thought. But don't forget, you know, this Raspberry Pi is not for proper, you know, deployment for a web server. I mean, you of course, you can use it for your own, you know, projects like I do. But anyway, it looks like everything has been done. It looks it's been installed properly. Now I'm going to refresh. And as you can see here, it works. So the Apache web server has been installed on your Raspberry Pi by simply clicking rather than just put any commands. Don't forget again. You can follow me now as well on Facebook. Please share my video, like my video, or dislike the, my videos if you want to. If you follow me, you can actually get the uh, updates faster, so you can actually get my video before anybody else. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care.